Welcome. My name is Clarissa. And my name is Sam. And I'm going to go through a postnatal mat Pilates class using a ball. The purpose of the ball is to help the abdominals contract a little bit more. Um, and also just providing some extra feedback so you can get a little bit more abdominal contraction. Let's go ahead and get started. So go ahead and lay down onto your back at this time. And we'll start by placing the ball in between the inner thighs, hands down by your sides. Try to press and lengthen the tailbone. Exhale, squeeze the ball using your inner thighs and glutes and release on the inhale. Exhale, squeeze, inhale, release. Exhale, squeeze, inhale, release. Last two. One more, squeeze and just hold that position. Think about sinking the abdominals in a little bit more. For four, three, two, and one. Press the palms flat into the mat. Press the back of the shoulders down. We'll do a heel lift, so, or foot lift rather. Exhale, squeeze the ball, lift the heels. Inhale, lower the heels. Exhale, lift the heels. Inhale, lower. You'll start to really feel the core get engaged here. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Last two. And one. Maintain the squeeze of the ball. Press the palms down. Exhale, bring the legs to tabletop position here. Inhale, lower to halfway. Exhale, lift up. The key concept is that you're not arching the lower back. So you might have to work a little bit in imprint in order to keep your lower back from arching here. And that's totally fine. Eventually you'll be able to work in neutral spine and you'll know when you can go down without too much of an overarching back or any back pain. One more time. And then bring the legs up to tabletop position, hug and squeeze the ball and we pump the arms up and down for the hundred for this first version. In two, three, four, five, out two, three, four, five, in two, three, four, five, out two, three, four, five. And keeping the head down in the event that you have diastasis recti or the bulging of your abdominals, or you're a brand new mom and you're just not quite ready to really start putting stress and strain on the abdominals yet. Breathe in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five. Go ahead and pull the knees in. Place the ball in between the ankles and carefully place the feet back down onto the floor. Roll the ball out so that way your ankles are right on top of the ball and you're pointing your toes. Take a nice deep breath in, exhale, press the ball or press your legs into the ball and then begin pumping the arms in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five. It provides a little bit more feedback Shoulders are away from the ears. Keep pressing all the way down into that ball. This also works the back of the legs really, really nice. Last four. And three. Two. And one. And then hold it steady. We'll start to exhale, roll the ball in. The abdominals will sink. Inhale, stretch it out. Something calls for a little bend and stretch. Exhale, roll it in. Inhale, roll it out. And by you pressing your feet into the ball, it keeps your abdominals engaged. Last three. And two. And one. And then roll it all the way out. From here, slide it underneath your left leg. We'll do single leg circle. Press the ball on, press your leg into the ball with your left ankle and pull the right knee in towards your chest. Extend the leg up, turn it out. Press the palms down. You'll then exhale, rotate your leg towards the right, around and up. Exhale, rotate around, inhale up. Exhale, rotate around, inhale up, last two and one reverse 
out, down, cross, and up. Really working through the mobility of the hips quite a bit. And two, and one. Pull the knee in, and then place the hands at the back of the head. You're not gonna lift the head. We're just gonna really send energy into the left side. Sway your right leg towards the left, and inhale, center. Sway it towards the right, and center. Just building a little bit more stability in the pelvis. And two, and one, and then place the leg back down. We'll repeat the same thing on the other side here. So hands come back down, pull the knee in, extend the leg up, a nice stretch, turn your foot out, and we cross around and up, keeping the palms down to the mat. And three, two, one, and reverse. Keep sending energy into your right leg. It's gonna make you work a little harder, which is what we want, but in a subtle way. It's two and one. Pull your knee in, place your hands at the back of your skull, and then sway your left leg towards the right and center, and left and center. Try to keep the ball still. And two, and one. And then go ahead and bring your leg down. Okay, we're gonna bend. We're gonna turn onto one side here, okay? For your sidekick series. So keep pressing into the ball with your top leg. That's gonna help you anchor the hips here. Shoulders away from the ears. And you can even hold onto the side of your mat or just really press it firmly down just for extra support. Well then exhale, sweep the leg forward, one, two, and back, one, two, and kick, one, two, and back, one, two, but work your obliques, one, two, and back, one, two, in a really nice way. Those obliques are really on fire, yeah? One more, one, two, and back, two, then hold it back here, Let's do circles from the back, just to open up your hip joints a little bit more. Four, three, two, one. Reverse. Four, three, two, one. And place the leg down. Go ahead and grab the ball with your ankles. Using the bottom leg, exhale, press into the ball so the bottom leg will lift up a little bit. Inhale, release. Exhale, press. Inhale, release. And your goal is to keep the hips or the legs in line with the hips. Last two. And one. Hold it here. Exhale. Bend the knees. Keep the knees off the mat. Inhale. Extend the legs. Exhale. Bend. Inhale. Extend. Last four. And three. Two. And one, extend the legs and lower them back down. Carefully flip onto your back. Okay. Place the ball underneath your right foot. Hands stay down. Start to curl and lengthen the lower back as you slowly lift up for your bridge. And then slowly articulate back down. Lots of hamstring right here. In both of them, really. Exhale, press and lift. Navel draw on the spine. Inhale, articulate down and lower. Last two. Exhale, press and lift. Inhale, articulate down and lower. One more. Exhale, press and lift. Stay lifted here. Find little mini pulses. Three, two, one. And slowly come back down. Switch legs. Same thing, other side here. Here we go. Exhale, curl and lengthen the lower back, middle back, upper back, come right back up. Inhale, slowly articulate back down. And again, sweep or curl under as you float up. Inhale, articulate back down. Last two, exhale, curl and lift up. Inhale, articulate back down. The last thing that touches your tailbone. 
First thing to lift up is the tailbone as you articulate out. Hold it here and we pause for four and three, two and one, and then slowly articulate down. Traditionally, I would ask you to turn to the other side, but instead, you're gonna grab the ball, turn onto the same side that you were just on, lift up because we really wanna make sure that we're not putting too much pressure on the abs, and then we'll lay onto the other side. The ball will go back underneath your bottom leg here, okay? For your side kicks. Hands go at the back of the skull, really press into the ball here, okay? And my bottom leg, just for reference, is slightly forward of my hips. I'm using the uh, my hand uh, to go right onto the side of the mat. Lift your leg up and we kick, kick, and back, back. And kick, kick, and back, back. Don't be surprised if you don't go as far. Kick, kick, and back, back. Last two, kick, kick, and back, back. One more, kick, kick, woo, and back, back. Hold it there for circles. For five, four, three, two, one, and reverse. Five, really feel those obliques work. Four, three, two, and one. And then bring your leg back down. From here, have the ball go in between the ankles and using your bottom leg, press into the ball to lift up. Inhale, back down. Press and lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, press and lift. Inhale, lower. Last two, press and lift. Inhale, lower. Last one, press and lift and hold. Exhale, bend the knees, keep the knees lifted. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Inhale, extend. Last two. And one. And extend the legs. Go ahead and bend the knees, grab the ball, flip onto your stomach here for a swan variation. You'll make a triangle with your hands and have your forehead down, elbows wide, okay? Have your legs about hip distance apart, shoulders away from the ears. Then exhale, press and lift the heart up, just the heart, keep your belly on. Keep your hip bones pressing down and then Lower yourself back down. And again, exhale, press and lift up using the elbows out you lift from the thoracic spine. And exhale, come back down. Three more. Inhale, press and lift. Exhale, lower. Last two, press and lift. Inhale, lower. One more time. Press and lift, hold that lift here. Let's do our single leg kick here. So start to bend your right knee, see if you get your knee lifted off the mat, flex the foot, kick, 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 and place it back down and switch. And kick, 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 and place it back down and switch. It's really to activate your glutes and your hamstrings here. Keep the hip bone pressing down and if you find any strain in the lower back, just bring your awareness back towards the ball. And think about using your elbows to help you lift your shoulder blades away from the floor. Kick, 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 and back. Last set, kick, kick, and back. One more time, kick, kick, and back. And lay your spine all the way down. We'll go right into swimming. Have the ball go underneath your right arm. Legs are still with your hips. Exhale, press and lift up and it already really starts to activate the abs here a little bit. And it'll also control you tilting your neck up. You really wanna be looking straight ahead. So I like the ball because it kind of is like a nice little guy. And then come back down. And inhale, press and lift. Exhale, back down. It's also a great tool to use to activate your lats which is your second powerhouse. Your first powerhouse is your inner thigh and glutes and butt, but your second one is your rib cage, your raised anterior, and your lats. Looks nice. And come back down. Go ahead and switch. Same thing on your side. 
Exhale, press and lift. Inhale, lengthen as you are. It's about lengthen up position. Exhale, press and lift. Get longer and back down. Last two. Exhale, press and lift. Inhale, back down. One more. Exhale, press and lift. And inhale, back down. From here, place the ball right in front of you. Bring your hands next to your ribcage. Press your knees into the mat. And use and pull your belly button in. Use your core to exhale. Press all the way up, keeping the knees down. We'll then do like a bear crawl modification. So you curl the toes under, or think knee stretch series on the reformer. You'll then take a nice deep breath in through the nose to expand the rib cage and out of the mouth to contract the rib cage. Start to round the spine a little bit. Really pull the belly button in. Squeeze the ball, toes curl under, and if you can, start to float the knees off just one inch. Keep your shoulders in line with your wrist and spread the fingers and hold. And then tap. And exhale, lift. Inhale, tap. Exhale, squeeze and lift. Inhale, tap. Exhale, squeeze and lift. One more. Inhale, tap. Exhale, squeeze and lift and hold. Three, two, one. And then come all the way back down. Sit back into your child's pose here. Okay. We'll now take the ball into our right hand. Setting up for bird dog here. All right, so you want to be careful not to put too much pressure on the wrist and have the palm tilt down. Instead, really try to center yourself here. So really do your best to have, like, instead, the knuckles reach forward, okay? Knees are over the hips. You press down into the ball, pulling your navel in, and then without shifting the hips, slide your left leg back. Keep it on the mat, keep it on the mat, keep it on the mat. And then pull your navel in a little bit more. Start to exhale, float the left leg up. Feel that nice contraction in the abdominals. We're here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And place your leg down. Let's place your elbow on, okay? Your palm is flat onto the mat. Try to keep your body weight still shifted towards the left. Take a nice deep breath in and exhale, float the leg up. You can even start to bend the elbows and dip down, keeping your leg nice and lengthened and long. Inhale, come up. Exhale, keep your body weight slightly towards the left so you keep your hips even. Inhale, come up. And yes, I'm sticking in a push up on you. I am. Last two, exhale, come down. You're pushing through the left side to bring you up. One more time. Exhale, shift towards the left. Inhale, come up. Make sure your hips are squared as you slowly bring your leg back down. Yes, I snuck that on you. I totally did. Okay. We start by placing the ball into your left hand, setting up for our bird dog variation here. Shoulders away from the ears. Take a nice deep breath and expand the rib cage. Exhale, draw the belly button in. Start to slide your right leg back without shifting the hips. I shifted mine just a little bit. Relax the shoulders, they pull away from the ears. Take another deep breath in. And then exhale, float the right leg up without shifting and hold that for eight, seven, Six, get longer with the spine and the leg. Four, three, two, one. Try not to shift the hips as you slowly bring your leg back down. From here, start to place your elbow onto the mat. Keep your hips and body weight shifted towards the right. Pull your navel in towards your spine. And then exhale, float the leg up. Hold it there. We have our push up. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, push up. 
Exhale, dive down. Inhale, push up. Last three. Two, bend your right arm, keep your vibration towards the right. And one, push on the right. And then bring your leg back down and slide it all the way back in. And sit back onto the heels. And that was your quick postpartum mat.